I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to find domain of a composite function. So let's define uh, a composite function first. Let's say one of the functions is f of x equals to let us say 4 over x plus 1 and we have g of x as equals to 1 over x minus 2. So let us say these are the two functions with which we are working and uh, Let's first write down their domain. For f of x, we know it is x belongs to real numbers. However, x cannot be equal to minus 1. And for g of x, the domain is x belongs to real numbers. And x cannot be equal to 2, right? So that's the domain of these two functions. Now, the question for us is we need to find domain of a composite function f of g. So that is what we need to find. So the question is, find domain of f of g. So that is the question. Now, how are you going to do that? Now, one option is, find the function f of g and then write down the domain. Now, when the question is to find domain of a composite function, you don't really have to find uh, the composite function itself. Uh, let's understand the concept. It is kind of like this. Uh, we are talking about inputs which are here and then operation which first performed will be g of x on these inputs and then on the output of g of x let us say these are the inputs we are calling them as the inputs right in this set of x then on these inputs operation is performed and you get g of x now the range of g of x becomes the domain for f right so f of g of x is like this so the performance of the function f of x is on the range of g of x right so what you get here basically is is a link from here to there which is f of g right that is how it is now clearly if you are finding domain of f of g in that case one since you start with g of x and the restriction in g of x in our case is that x is not equal to 2 then one of the restrictions which we will have here is that x is not equal to 2 so that is first restriction so all the restrictions which apply to inside function in this case g of x which is 1 over x minus 2 will apply to the composite function now second domain restriction will be that the range of g of x should not be minus 1, right? So the range of g of x should not be minus 1. So let me write down here. So first restriction is all the restrictions on g of x, the inside function, right? So that is the first one which we have got here. And the second one is that range of g of x should not be restriction on f of x in this case minus 1 so what we need to really find is the value of x which will give us an output of g of x which is minus 1 you got the idea right so let's solve for that so what we will solve for is 1 over x minus 2 is g of x that should not be equal to minus 1. So this is, this is what is to be solved, right? So let's solve for it. So what we get here is when we solve it, we get 1 should not be equal to cross multiply minus times x minus 2. Or we can say, let's solve it. So it is not equal to minus x plus 2. And solving, we get x is not equals to 2 minus 1 or should not be equal to 1. Do you get the idea? And therefore, the second restriction is that x cannot be equal to 1. Okay. So now we can write down our answer. And the answer is that the domain of f of g is x belongs to real numbers so that x is not equal to 
2, which is a restriction on g of x, and it is not equal to 1, which will give us an output which will be minus 1. Do you see that? And 1. So that is how you find the restriction of the domain of composite function without finding the composite function, right? So that is how it should be done. I hope the concept is clear. In the next video, we will again take up the same example. Find the composite functions and then check our domain, okay? But this helps. It saves time in the test and also brings to your knowledge the concept. I hope it helps. Thank you and all the best.